In the history of the United States, 12,244 people have had the honor of serving in Congress. I've done that and I've represented the most historically significant district in our amazing nation. God has showered me with opportunities to do good for my district, for my nation, and for my fellow man. For this fact, I'll be eternally grateful. I've never stood at a podium nor issued a release or said a single word that I didn't believe to be true. The recent attacks on my family and myself are a series of half-truths and whole lies. They're driven more by Republicans and Democrats. These attacks aren't true, and I could prove that. I've never been a candidate for office and lost, and I won't. This is because life is about priorities and values, and for the most part, I am proud of mine. But there's one area where I haven't been honest. The tragedy is that any person, Republican, Democrat, or Independent, who's known me for any period of time and has any integrity, knows two things. I am a good man, and I'm an alcoholic. This is the hardest statement that I have ever publicly made, by far. It's also the truth. With this in mind, not for fear of losing, but for lack of love for our great nation, today I am announcing that I will not seek re-election. Sometimes winning means knowing where your priorities should be. My devotion to the ideas and belief in America has not wavered, but my commitment to be the best husband, father, and friend means addressing the only truth I have been heretofore unwilling to tell. God has blessed America, and he's blessed me. I am not dying. I am starting anew. With work and dedication, great things can be done. This isn't an ending for me or my values of service to my fellow man. It's just a new beginning. Thank everyone who's helped me every step of the way.